history of underwater remotely operated vehicles is that they've been prohibitively expensive. There's something that only the military has or oil and gas companies or you know, big research institutions. They've been big, they've been expensive. That wasn't okay with us. So we started building these tools for ourselves. We wanted a tool that was portable, that we could bring anywhere, that we could send down below the surface and give us views of these underwater places that we couldn't go with our physical bodies. The Cameron Trident is specially tuned for low light environments underwater. It streams beautiful video back to the surface. It makes you feel like you're really there. Trident's capable of going to depths of 100 meters, which is several times deeper than any scuba diver uh, would go recreationally. And it's also capable of uh, getting into spots that may be too dangerous for divers to go, like inside of shipwrecks or caves. We're really trying to broaden uh, the horizons for what people can see using this type of technology. We're really proud of what Trident looks like on the outside. It's clearly a very beautiful vehicle. Every aspect of that shape is functional. It's extremely hydrodynamic and very low drag, which also allows it to go very fast, about two meters per second, which is about the speed of Michael Phelps in the Olympics. It's also designed to be really rugged to make sure that it would be able to function in some of the harshest environments. One of the things a user of Trident will notice is how easy it is to fly. It's kind of like how you'd picture going through the water in a dream, sort of glides and you can dive over cliffs and really just have the complete freedom to do whatever you want underwater. This is really a device to bring you up to the edge of discovery of what humans know about this part of our planet and allowing you to take the driver's seat to see what's out there.